The Umbrella Academy Season 1 movie begins by showing a strange event at a swimming training at a swimming pool in Russia in 1989. At that time, one of the women who attended swimming training suddenly experienced contractions and mysteriously gave birth to a child. However, she had not previously been pregnant at all. In that year, there were 43 cases with the same incident, where a woman suddenly gave birth to a child without any previous pregnancies. Seeing this unique incident, a billionaire named Sir Reginald Hargreaves decided to adopt seven children who were born mysteriously. He named the seven children with numbers ranging from number one, number two, to number seven. After that, Sir Reginald creates a humanoid robot named Grace that resembles a woman programmed to be a foster mother of seven children. Grace named the seven children who were previously named by numbers with more proper names. She named number one with the name Luther Hargreaves, number two with the name Diego Hargreaves, number three with the name Allison Hargreaves, number four with the name Klaus Hargreaves, number six with the name Ben Hargreaves, number seven with the name Vanya Hargreaves, and lastly, number five with the same name, namely five Hargreaves. Luther is a child with superpowers in the form of a stocky and strong body, and Diego has superpowers in the form of speed and precise accuracy. Meanwhile, Allison has superpowers to control and manipulate thoughts. For Klaus, he has the supernatural power to communicate and interact with spirits. Five has the superpower to teleport space and time, and Ben has the superpower to bring out monsters from within his body, while Vanya is the only child who does not have superpowers at all. Since childhood, Sir Reginald has gathered children with superpowers, including his adopted children, into an academy called the Umbrella Academy. Vanya became the only child who was exiled and did not join the Umbrella Academy. The Umbrella Academy is a collection of young superheroes who got trained to control their powers and fight the evil that exists in the world. One day, a member of the Umbrella Academy, Five Hargreaves, mysteriously disappeared while trying to maximize his teleportation power. After that, the Umbrella Academy lost one of its members again, namely Ben Hargreaves. Ben was killed while he was on a mission with his siblings. Now, Sir Reginald's remaining children are only five siblings, Allison, Vanya, Klaus, Diego, and Luther. Over the years, the five siblings grew up and lived their lives separately. Since Five's departure and Ben's death, they have chosen to live their own lives and decide not to see each other. After Vanya and her siblings had been separated for a dozen years, they finally met again after receiving the news that their father had passed away. When they get home, they see their robot foster mother, Grace, and an assistant named Pogo grieving the loss of their father. Pogo is a genius monkey who has been working as a personal assistant to Sir Reginald. That night when they were gathering, suddenly a blue light appeared from above the sky in their backyard. It turns out that the blue light is a time teleportation portal that brings Five back to the present time but with his old body when he disappeared a few years ago. Five then explains that he has been stuck in the future for 45 years. The following day, the six siblings, Grace and Pogo, held a funeral for Sir Reginald. Unfortunately, the funeral ended in chaos due to a fight between Luther and Diego until they accidentally destroyed Ben's memorial statue. They were known to often fight with each other since they were little. After the funeral was over, in the evening, Five came to a donut shop he used to visit. While enjoying his drink, some unknown men with full weapons started attacking him. He suspects the group of men are the ones who have been ordered by his future superiors to kill him. Thankfully, he survived the gunmen's attacks and killed them all with the power of his space teleportation. 5. Suspicious that his former superior's subordinates could easily track his location, decided to dissect his arm and remove the tracking device embedded in his body. After that, he immediately left the place. In another place, Klaus is talking to Ben's spirit in a car. As mentioned before, Klaus has supernatural powers that allow him to communicate with spirits. This supernatural power often makes him feel stressed and gets him involved in drug abuse. Meanwhile, Five, who turned out to be already at Vanya's residence, tried to tell Vanya about what he saw in the future. Five said that in the future, he saw a catastrophic apocalypse that killed everyone, including his siblings. However, she did not take it seriously and said he was only hallucinating because of time travel too much. When Vanya was treating Five's arm, which was injured by a knife cut, Five showed Vanya an eyeball he found at the apocalypse time. He believes that the eyeball can be a clue about the cause of the apocalypse in the future so that he can prevent the apocalypse from happening. On the other hand, agents named Hazel and Cha-Cha come to the donut shop where Five's tracking device was last detected. They are agents sent by Five's former superiors to capture and kill Five, but they decided to leave the shop because they couldn't get any information about his whereabouts. Shortly after, Diego and a female police officer named Eudora came to the donut shop to investigate the previous murder. 
The scene switches to when Pogo asks Klaus about a book he has taken from Sir Reginald's safe deposit box. But Klaus denies it and says he doesn't know anything about the book Pogo is referring to. Apparently, he had previously taken a safe deposit box that belonged to his father to get money so he could buy drugs. But he accidentally threw away his father's important book in the box and threw it in the trash because he didn't know it was a valuable item. Meanwhile, Five is still busy investigating the eyeball that has previously been found. He came to a laboratory producing the engineered eyeball, and the researcher said that the eyeball had not been created and was still in the development stage. In the evening, Five was chased by Agent Cha-Cha and Hazel, who managed to find his whereabouts in a clothing store. The battle between them was quite fierce, and Five had difficulty beating the two agents. Fortunately, several police officers appeared and tricked the attention of the two agents so that Five managed to survive and escape from the place. The next day, a young man named Leonard Peabody came to visit Vanya. He is a professional violinist. Leonard admits that he admires Vanya's artistic talent and intends to learn to play the violin from her. From that day on, they met more often, and their relationship grew closer. Vanya felt that Leonard was the only person who understood her feelings and made her feel valued. During this time, Vanya always felt alienated from the rest of her siblings because she was the only person who did not have superpowers. That's why she was touched by Leonard's attitude of appreciating and understanding her. Then one day, Allison asked all her siblings to gather at her house and watch CCTV footage. In the recording, Grace, who had been taking care of Sir Reginald, suddenly gave a strange drink the seconds before his death. This raises suspicions that Grace had deliberately poisoned and killed their father. But Diego denies this, and he feels sure that Grace can't possibly kill their father. This is because she is a robot created and designed to take care of them all. Besides, Grace definitely didn't have any feelings of anger or resentment since she was just a robot. So, she didn't have any reason to kill their father. On the other hand, Agent Hazel and Cha-Cha, who were at the donut shop where Five used to visit, finally got information about Five's residence after one of the waitresses at the shop said that she had seen an umbrella tattoo on Five's arm. Hearing this, they immediately went to the residence of Mr. Hargreaves to look for Five. Luther, Diego, and the other five siblings were confused because Agent Hazel and Cha-Cha suddenly broke into their house and immediately attacked them. As a result, Luther and the others were forced to face the two agents. When Vanya came in the middle of the fight, Luther became unfocused because he had to protect her. Fortunately, Diego managed to help Luther to defeat the two agents and force them to leave. But unexpectedly, they caught Klaus and took him away in their car's trunk. They intend to use Klaus to lure Five to their place. They torture Klaus using drugs to force him to tell them all the information about Five. After being threatened for some time, Klaus finally said that currently, Five was conducting an investigation to find out information about the engineered eyeballs he found in the future. One day, Allison, who happened to be visiting Vanya's house, accidentally saw Leonard entering Vanya's house without permission. She felt that his movements were suspicious even though she knew Vanya had recently been close to him. The following night, Detective Eudora finds Klaus from the clues left by agents Hazel and Cha-Cha in a car. Unfortunately, not long after that, Detective Eudora was shot by agent Cha-Cha from behind and made her die. Klaus then took the opportunity to escape from the place. When Diego found out about Detective Eudora's death, he became furious. He immediately went to Five to ask what really happened in the future and who precisely the two agents that had killed Eudora were. Five then explains that while he was trapped in the future, he was recruited by a woman named The Handler from a company called Commission and assigned to kill the people who had corrupted the Time series. One time, when Five was on a mission, he decided to leave the Commission and escape through a time portal until he could finally return to the present time. After that, he chose to meet with Agents Hazel and Cha-Cha so that his siblings would not become the target of the two agents. When meeting with them, Five requests to meet with The Handler because he wants to know the cause of the apocalypse in the future. Shortly after, the Handler appears in front of Five and ensures his siblings will be okay if he works with him on a new mission. Hearing this, Five decided to agree to the agreement and join the Handler. On the other hand, Vanya comes to Leonard's house to tell him that she now has an important position in an orchestra. After that, mysterious power suddenly burst out from within her body, and the power flew towards Leonard's attic. In the attic, it turns out that Leonard hid the corpse from someone in the book belonging to Mr. Hargreaves, which Klaus had previously discarded. That means he deliberately approached Vanya from the start because he had learned a secret about her power from the book. The scene switches to the moment where Five is already working with the Handler on a new mission. Meanwhile, Hazel and Cha-Cha, who are no longer assigned to kill Five, have received a different mission. The Handler assigned Cha-Cha to kill Hazel soon, and Hazel is assigned to kill Cha-Cha. 
This means they have a mission to kill each other. Previously, Hazel was assigned to another mission to protect a man named Harold Jenkins. However, Five had changed the mission because he wanted to find out who Harold Jenkins was. Unfortunately, Five's suspicious movements have been noticed by the handler, and he decides to kill him right away. Luckily, Five was able to survive the shot with his teleportation power and fled from the place immediately. After that, he returned to the present time using a teleportation briefcase. When Five returned to the Umbrella Academy's house, he coincidentally ran into the rest of his siblings. At that time, Luther and the others discussed the apocalypse that would occur in three days. Hearing this, Five tries to convince his other siblings that the apocalypse will really happen because he has seen it in the future. He then showed a clue from the commission company. He believes that Harold Jenkins is the one who will cause the apocalypse to happen. Turns out, Harold Jenkins is actually Leonard Peabody's real name. Leonard was once an ordinary child who was coincidentally born on the same day as the children of the Umbrella Academy. He then thought that he belonged to the special children who were members of the Umbrella Academy. Until one day, Leonard came to the headquarters of the Umbrella Academy and asked to be included in the Academy. But Mr. Hargreaves immediately stopped and humiliated him in public. He then went home angry and upset. That night, while Leonard's abusive father was asleep, he killed his father with an iron hammer. As a result, he was in prison for 12 years. After getting out of prison, he changed his name from Harold Jenkins to Leonard Peabody. From the beginning, he had intended to take revenge on the Umbrella Academy, so he approached Vanya and used her for revenge. In the secret book belonging to Mr. Hargreaves that Leonard had previously found, it is known that Vanya has powerful superpowers and is even greater than her other siblings. He realized there was always something odd around her when she had mood swings. Leonard is increasingly convinced that Vanya actually has very powerful powers. Therefore, he brought her to his grandmother's house so that she could learn to control her powers. On the other hand, Diego and Allison panicked when they saw Five, who suddenly fainted and was in pain. It turned out that when Five escaped from the future, he suffered a severe stomach wound. They then asked Grace to look after him while searching for Harold Jenkins. On the same day, Klaus suddenly dreams of meeting his father's spirit. In the dream, his father already knew about the apocalypse that would happen. So, he decides to program Grace to kill him so she can gather all his children at the Umbrella Academy headquarters. The scene switches to the moment when Vanya and Leonard return to their house after having dinner together. On the way, they were confronted by a group of men. Leonard was immediately beaten up in front of her. Seeing him being beaten up, Vanya felt very angry, and suddenly her power appeared out of nowhere. Her power was quite powerful, and it made the thugs injured and die instantly. Meanwhile, after investigating, Allison and the others finally find out that Harold Jenkins is Leonard. Allison, who is worried about Vanya, tries to find Vanya's whereabouts to reveal Leonard's true identity. Finally, Allison managed to find Vanya's whereabouts at the Leonard family's house. She told Vanya everything about Leonard, but unfortunately, Vanya didn't believe and instead accused her of wanting to ruin her happiness with Leonard. Allison then apologized to Vanya because she had been asked by their father to hypnotize her. All of that had to be done so that Vanya would not know the great power she had. Hearing this, she became very angry and disappointed because all this time, she was always exiled and locked up by her father since she was a child. Vanya, getting out of control, accidentally attacks Allison and slashes Allison's neck. Realizing that she had hurt her sibling, she panicked and felt so sorry. Moments later, Luther and the others finally arrived at the place and found Allison was already dying. They immediately took her home for treatment. Meanwhile, Vanya, who was still in shock, was brought by Leonard to his house. Then, Vanya found her father's book that Leonard had taken. She finally realized that he had been deliberately approaching her and using her to bring back the power she had. As a result, Vanya, who was betrayed, felt very angry with Leonard and immediately killed him with her power. The next day, Vanya returned to Umbrella Academy to apologize to her siblings. At the same time, Diego, Five, and Klaus come to Leonard's house and find that he is dead. Upon discovering Leonard's corpse, Five then fits an engineered eyeball he finds in the future into Leonard's right eye. It turned out that the eyeball matched him. This makes Five feel sure that Leonard is the trigger for the apocalypse. Meanwhile, after Luther saw Vanya had returned to Umbrella Academy, he made her faint so he could take her to an isolation bunker. The rest of her siblings felt that they should lock her up for a while because Vanya's power was very dangerous. Sadly, it even made Vanya feel depressed and lost control. Finally, she uses her superpowers to destroy the bunker door. After successfully getting out of the bunker, she went to the living room. With each step, Vanya made the entire wall of the house tremble and start falling down. 
Pogo tried to calm her down when she arrived in the living room. But Vanya, who has lost control, unknowingly kills Pogo. Realizing that the house was about to collapse, Luther and the others immediately ran from the house. Unfortunately, they were unable to save their foster mother, Grace. Shortly after, Five came and told them all that the apocalypse's real cause was Vanya, and Leonard was just the trigger. Five and his other siblings then gather at a bowling alley to discuss their next plans. During their conversation, a group of masked troops previously sent by the handler suddenly appeared and charged at them. Luckily, they managed to dodge the attack and fled from that place. The next day, Five and the others came to an orchestral performance where Vanya was performing. In the middle of the show, the troops from the commission suddenly appeared and attacked them. Fortunately, Klaus and Ben's spirits managed to defeat the entire army. Then, Five and the others did everything they could to stop Vanya's power. Luther and the others tried to restrain her power from the front, while Allison tried to control her from behind until she passed out. Unfortunately, Vanya's power actually aimed at the moon and caused it to explode. All these ruins fell to the Earth's surface, which caused the apocalypse to happen. Shortly before the ruins hit the Earth, Five teleported with all his siblings, and finally, they all managed to survive. The moral that can be learned from this movie is, the greatest strength will come from people who feel they have many weaknesses and work hard to be helpful to those around them.